The secret to a comfortable home is not just about your furnace and your air conditioner, but it's what you put into your ceiling and your walls. And with so many options, how do you pick what's right for your home? In this episode, we're going to tackle the three most common options, your regular bat insulation, your foam insulation, and a hybrid component. So let's dive in. Let's start with the basics. Insulation is measured with an R value, and that really is just a resistance to heat. As you can imagine, the higher the R value, the better the insulation component. And for our robust Colorado climate, where we have extreme sub-zero temperatures that can swing into 70s and 80s all within the same day, we need something that actually performs well because that's gonna save us a lot of money in the long run. So the three main components are the BAP, the foam, and the hybrid. The BATs, think about your regular pink insulation that you would see at a hardware store. Lower cost, easy to install, but also a lower R value depending on how much space you have. Foam insulation comes in two different types, an open cell or a closed cell, and those generally have a much higher R value, but they also come at a premium cost and they have to be professionally installed, usually with a face mat completely, completely suited up. And the last one that we chose for this build is a hybrid system. And that's a combination of foam and the baths. It gives you the full R value that you're looking for, or that higher R value that you're looking for, at a slightly lower cost because you're going to use the regular bat in conjunction with it. Let's take a look at our very specific scenario where we have very shallow, low-pitched roof lines. Because we, we used rafters instead of trusses, we didn't have the room to put in the bad insulation and obtain the R value that we needed for our climate. So we went with an open cell spray foamed insulation. And that's actually a really great idea for your roofs. And that's because it expands very quickly, it'll fill every crack and nook that you may have and create a very airtight seal. It's also sound dampening. So imagine in Colorado, we have very heavy rains or hail. You don't wanna hear that inside your home. It was a great solution for our ceiling because it gave us the higher R value than the bats, but it did come at a slightly higher cost than just doing bats, but at a lower cost than doing the closed cell, which we put into our walls. But what about the walls, you ask? And this is where we got creative by doing the hybrid system. We first sprayed all of the exterior walls with a closed cell spray foam that's extremely rigid, creates an airtight seal that is crucial for our climate. Once that cured, we put the bat on top of that because remember we have a six inch exterior wall and together with the spray foam, we obtain that higher R value that we need for our climate. The spray foam gives us about six to seven, and then the bat is your standard three R value for every inch of insulation. It's a great way to save a little bit of money because that spray foam is at that higher premium cost and getting the R value that you need for your specific climate. Whether you're dealing with shallow ceilings or wanting to maximize your wall insulation, think beyond using just one type of insulation like we did here to create an incredibly comfortable and energy efficient home. Let me know in the comments section what you used for your home. And if this episode helped you rethink your energy needs, hit that subscribe button. Around here we say mock it up or mess it up. We'll see you next time.